Hi, I'm Zara Chatfield from Austin, Texas. As a reading specialist and book lady, I know how important it is to share stories with kids from a very young age. Spending time together while reading aloud helps to create strong parent-child bonds and promotes healthy brain development. Children that are read to more often have improved language and listening skills, experience stronger emotional connections to their loved ones, and gain a lifelong love of reading. I want to share some of our very favorite story time books. All Better. This is the book that made me fall in love with Esborn Books and more. It's the sweetest story about animals that get hurt and need someone to clean it, kiss it, and put a bandage on it. The band-aids are stored at the front so they can be matched with the right color and played with again and again. This book teaches empathy and the simple text allows children to go back and read it again independently. If your child loves this reusable sticker book, be sure to check out the rest of the books in the collection, including our newest one, Feed the Animals. In this book, the animals are hungry and the children use their reasoning skills to choose the right food for each animal to eat. They slide it through the top and see it go into the tummy. After they fed all the animals, they can slide the book open in the back, empty it out, and read it again. Another fan favorite is this crazy yellow monster, Nibbles. He may look cute, but watch out because he eats books. In this fun read aloud, Nibbles escapes from his cage and chews through classic tales like Goldilocks and Jack and the Beanbox, Little Red Riding Hood, wreaking havoc along the way. All the little cutouts, flaps, and books within the book make this a great one to cuddle up and read with your child, allowing them to manipulate the different elements throughout. It will have your child laughing all the way to the end when you think you finally caught him, but think again because he escapes. If you want to follow Nibbles into his other books, be sure to check these out, including our smaller board books, which teach younger kiddos about numbers and colors. These books each have an adorable character with a problem to solve, and it's your job to help them solve it. All throughout the book, there are action steps for your reader to take, like tickling Owl's tummy to wake him up, clapping three times to switch on the sun. Your child will get a kick out of these silly characters, and they'll love engaging with them throughout each book. All three titles are fantastic. Finally, my absolute favorite book to read aloud with my kids, both my students and my belly babies, is You Choose. If you've ever wanted to know what makes your kids tick, what they wonder and dream about, this book is for you. You Choose takes you on a journey using your imagination, asking questions along the way like, where would you go if you could go anywhere? What kind of home would you choose? Don't just stop at the answer. Ask them why. That's where the magic happens. Kids explain why they like and don't like certain things, and it's an amazing way to learn about their preferences, their feelings, and how their interests change as they grow. If you already have and love You Choose, you should definitely get your hands on You Choose Space. Hi, I'm Nicole Davis from College Station, Texas, and I'm super excited to talk to you about some books perfect for story time. I think we all know how important it is to read to our little ones from day one. When they hit the toddler years, it can be a little difficult to get them to stay still. So I love engaging books like the That's Not My series. This series is full of repetitive text, which makes it fun because they feel like they can learn it by memorizing it, which is actually a pre-reading skill. And then there's all these fun little touchy-feely places that they can interact with the book. So it makes it a like fun game type experience, not to mention all of the great vocabulary and adjectives that they learn as we describe. <laughs> That's not my whatever. There's 50 titles, over 50 titles in this collection. And I've just picked out a few of our favorites. That's not my otter. That's not my puppy. And that's not my parrot. But there are so many choices from trucks to dollies to fairies, all kinds of topics that your toddler is going to love. Next, we have our early readers chapter books. Billy B. Brown and Hey Jack are one of my favorite series because they're actually designed for dyslexic readers. And so there's plenty of space no more than 50 words on a page and um, no hyphenated words. And so these books are great for even those who don't have reading disabilities because it's very, um, it doesn't feel overwhelming. It feels very much um, like it's something that they can handle. And so it gives them the confidence that they can read themselves. 
there is their separate series, but in this book in particular, they cross over together because Billy and Jack are best friends. Another fun type of book that chapter book that we have are our Ella Diaries and Olivia Scribbles. These are great because they are diary style. So there's doodles and fun different uh, things on the page to make it super engaging and fun. We have some other books like the Freddy series and the How to Win a Nobel Prize that feature recipes and experiments that you can do along with with your reading. And then the Extraordinary Lives series is one of my favorite. Um, they're biographies of current and past influential people in uh, history. So this is Ar Neil Armstrong and Rosa Parks, but we have even some contemporaries like Steve Jobs. If you love adventure or your kiddos <laughs> love adventure, this book is actually perfect for uh, middle to high school. Um, it's a fun adventure series. Um, it's definitely for older kiddos, no illustrations in this one, but it's a fast paced, fun story. Last, but certainly not least, is our illustrated classic series. Um, this is Wizard of Oz and Treasure Island, but we have Anne of Green Gables, Little Women, all of our classic favorites, Jungle Book, um, Around the World in 80 Days, all fun, <laughs> beautiful paperback editions. They have full illustrations well, throughout, but then they also have full page illustrations that really bring the stories to life um, and are just great for high school and middle school readers for that independent reading time. I'm Kristen Romine from South Bend, Indiana. I love reading aloud with my children. It's a great way to bond and connect, but there's also a time and place for reading independently too. It grows children's confidence and it helps them to escape to other places. And also sometimes we just need a break and a way to unwind, especially when the weather is nicer. I love when my children have the opportunity to read on a picnic blanket or go lay in a hammock. Um, so here are some books that could help with that. School of Monsters is a great series for children ages about four through seven. These are cute monsters and they are rhyming books and they're great for children who are learning how to read. You can read these aloud to them, but my daughter who just finished kindergarten this year loves to read this one. It makes her feel confident as she can read, reading the words that rhyme. These are nice, easy words. And at the end of each book, there is also a place where they can grow their confidence and skills with sight words. We have Usborne storybooks as well, and these are high quality um, stories. We have lots of fairy tales, stories that children are probably already familiar with, but the versions vary a little bit as well. These are really interesting and exciting to read. There are 12 in each set. This is the beginning level, and this would be a little more um, advanced than like a kindergartner or first grader could read, so this would be great for middle elementary, but if they're not quite at this level yet, they can still read independently because there is a QR code on the back that they can use and it will read the story along with them. And lastly, I wanna share with you our Usborne graphic collection. So these are our graphic novels. You'll see some familiar titles here. We have graphic legends and graphic classics. What I love about these books is obviously the beautiful illustrations and the quality of the books themselves, but these also are a gateway into reading more advanced, higher quality literature. These would be great for um, children who are reluctant readers, but also children who love to read as well. The small snippets of text are um, helpful in building confidence for um, children as they read and these look adorable on the bookshelf together when you collect them. We have 12 in all. Look at the spines, isn't that adorable?